Okay, this is one of my own games that I want to show you. I played with white and I lost this game and I want to make a video now uh, to show you the game. It's not a very long game, it's quite short, only 22 moves. And the reason that I want to make this video is because on one hand I want to talk about some of the mistakes that I make and uh, because there are mistakes that uh, well, happen happen more often to me, and uh, maybe there are some people on this forum that can give me some advice and some feedback. So I'll show you the game: d4, d5, c4, c6, knight c3, e6, knight to f3. And here I thought that my opponent would play um, knight to f6, which is something that, well, in, at least in my games, uh, eight out of, out of ten times. Knight f6 is played, but it surprised me with f5. So then we have that um, a kind of stonewall formation, kind of Dutch defense. And here I didn't know th any theory about this, so I um, tried to find out some things for myself. I played g3, and I don't know if that's the right way to handle this kind of positions. Um, another idea would be to play e3. And then after knight f6, develop the the bishop to d3, like we normally do in a, in a queen's gambit. But well, I did g3, and after knight f6, instead of playing bishop to g2, I first took on d5, and that's something that afterward I, I didn't like. Maybe it was not a good idea to do it because after e takes d5, um, white, uh, I'm sorry, black gets a half open e file, and that in the future can be useful for him. I played bishop to g2, and bishop to b4 was played. I cancelled, and he cancelled also. And then I played my queen to c2, with the idea of um, using the half open c file and uh, maybe put a rook on c1 and connecting my rooks. He played his knight to e4, and e4 of course is a very strong uh, square for the knight. Um, I played bishop f4, knight to d7, and here's another move that I don't know if it's the right thing. Maybe this was the moment of just simply continuing with my own plan play a rook uh, f to c1 and then maybe a3 and b4 and start a minority attack but uh, instead of that I played knight to e5 he took on e5 and I took back with the bishop and then bishop to d6 another surprise for me that he uh, he wanted to trade this uh, this uh, black squared bishops. I took it. He took it to the queen, and then I played e3, and he played bishop to d7, and this knight on e4. Actually, that that knight, um, this knight was constantly uh, having my attention. I thought this is such a strong piece on e4. I I wish I could. Um, get it away from there and I of course I considered things like playing f3 but then e3 gets so weak and this is actually one of the, the things that happen many times in my games not only correspondence chess but also on the board chess that um, I kind of get obsessed with uh, with one thing with one, one item in this case it was this knight on e4 I just wanted to get it away from there but maybe and there were other options. Uh, what I did, I, I took the knight on e4. Now, the, it, it, actually, it is a, um, a positional mistake, a big mistake, because after f takes e4, then oh, I already made all these arrows. He gets the f half open f file. The queen can go to h6, and this bishop can go to h3. So actually, all his pieces are very almost all all species are very well placed to start an attack on the king uh, side <coughs> but well since this was the position um, and I already was not uh, I was not content with it because he has much more possibilities than uh, than I do I played a3 the idea of playing b4 and then start a minority attack on the queen side because I cannot start anything on the king side 
and on in the center is totally closed so I thought it was a logical thing to start something on the queen side but again if you see other ideas other options of getting counterplay in this position please tell me um, queen to h6 I played b4 with my own continuing my own plan bishop to g4 and then actually at this point I saw that I, my position was, was so so bad I didn't like it and I, I, I could not make any plan that uh, that satisfied me so I did I moved my queen to c5 but it was actually useless because after b6 then I have nothing so I went back to c3 and he already this way uh, black gains a tempo he goes with his rook to f6 I played a4 rook a to f8 now the pressure on f2 is very big and um, the only way to protect the f2 pawn would be to play rook to a2 I didn't do that then could have continued bishop f3 and after b5 he exchanges here and he has actually many chances on the the king side I'll go back to the game after rook a to f8 I played a5 and of course he played bishop to a2 and this was lost after exchanging here it's simply uh, over so I, I resigned in this position um, I think if I look back I think I made a few uh, positional mistakes that were actually very important one if exchanging I'll go back to that position exchanging this knight on uh, on e4 opening the f file for him and giving also more space for his uh, for his bishop so this this trade on e4 was not good and another thing is that probably uh, much earlier here exchanging on d6 on d5 I'm sorry is actually maybe not very good because I open this uh, this e file well if you have any ideas or any comments about this game uh, or please react on the the forum I'll put put this this video on the uh, uh, let's play chess.com forum and um, I'm very uh, curious to your uh, comments and responses so um, if you have any ideas just write them down okay thank you very much that was the game that I wanted to show you I'll close the video now